the television presentation by the Prime Minister was plain wrong. Too many of the Prime Minister's special advisers and aides think they are running a presidential government, that the Prime Minister goes on television and announces all sorts of executive orders without any reference to Parliament. Many of them have clearly been watching too many episodes of West Wing. And they just do not understand how the government works in this country. Let me just run by some of the reasons why Sunday's television address was wrong. First, the Speaker had warned the government twice not to do this. It made it clear that the government should announce new policy in the Chamber of the House of Commons first. The government decided to disobey the Speaker's wishes. This is not how our parliamentary democracy works. Secondly, the government clearly breached the ministerial code. On page 23, under section Ministers and Parliament, it says in bold type, when Parliament is in session, the most important announcements of government policy should be made in the first instance in Parliament. Clearly, the Prime Minister's television address breached the ministerial code. Thirdly, every member of Parliament knows in detail the concerns and issues raised by the coronavirus pandemic, because we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of emails, letters and phone calls from worried and concerned constituents. MPs would have been in the best position to constructively question the Prime Minister when a change in policy was announced. Fourthly, the fine details of the change in policy, which has now been published in a 51-page document, is at the same time as any change in government policy. This would have enabled people to understand the exact detail of the changes, but it wasn't published, and therefore uncertainty and confusion reigned. Fifthly, with parliamentary scrutiny on government policy severely hampered by the hybrid nature of proceedings, the government should have gone out of its way to give the utmost opportunity for parliament to scrutinise changes to the most important issue facing the country at the moment. In conclusion, Madam Deputy Speaker, spin and presentation don't make good government. It is parliament that makes good government.